Good morning Year 1 and welcome to Day 3 of our English lessons. Today we're going to be starting with some more work on the suffix ing and then we're going to again be looking at our story. And today we're going to be looking at speech and speech bubbles. So get your whiteboards and whiteboard pens ready and when you're ready to start we'll get going. Okay, so can you think quickly of a word that ends in the suffix ing? And if you can, also tell your grown-up what kind of job that ing word is doing. What's it, what kind of word it is. So generally speaking, year one, words ending in ing are describing words. And today, we've got another example. So words ending in ing can be used to describe nouns, which are things or feelings. These words are called adjectives. Now, you don't need to worry about their name probably till year two. So, for example, we've got swimming trunks. So those are trunks you go swimming in. A walking holiday, a holiday where you go walking. Does that make sense? So what I want you to do now is have a look at these pictures and try to write two words describing them. Think about the first word should start with the suffix ing. And grown-ups, when you've had a go, and do feel free to chat over the words with your family, with your children. When you're finished, start the video again, and we'll have a look at what I thought. So here we are, the first one. Shopping bag. Number two, swimming costume. Number three was quite tricky, but I think it's a camping shop. Number four, walking boots. Number five, drinking straws, but you could have crafting straws as well. And the last one, stepping stones. So have a think and have a look out for other words that use those ing descriptors. And now we're going to go back to find out what goats and donkey are up to. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at using speech bubbles and finding speech in the text. So what we're looking for is how speech is indicated. So we'll have a look at the first one and I'll show you what we're going to do and then you can have a go at the next three or four pages. So one morning Goat announced, I have decided to go on a holiday, a camping holiday in the great outdoors. So tell your grown-up or point to the, on the screen to the part of the story that is being spoken and Goat announces. See what he announces. Okay, so Goat is announcing this section. This is the part that he's speaking. So what a good idea, said Donkey. And while you're away, I will have lots of peace and quiet to read my book. So now decide, tell your grown-up which part is the bit that Donkey says. When you're ready, start the video again. So I think you will have found this part here. It's part of what he says, but he also says something more here. So what a good idea. And while you're away, I will have lots of peace and quiet to read my book. OK, good, he said, goat. So that's all settled then. So just quickly identify the third part of the speech, although we're not going to include that when we do our main task. OK, so I think the last section is again goody. So that's all settled then. And these sections here are called reporting clauses, although you actually don't need to worry about them till year five. OK, so what you're going to do now is quite exciting. What I want you to do is you're going to tell you're grown up, what's being said, you don't have to use all the words, and then we're going to write it in our speech bubbles. Now, grown ups, there are going to be PDFs and Word documents of the four speech bubbles today. But if your child would rather just write the speech on a whiteboard, or if they'd like to have a go at drawing one or more of the pictures, that's absolutely fine too. Okay, so this is what I thought was being said. I have decided to go on a camping holiday in the great outdoors. So that's what Goat is saying, and you can see there. 
paraphrase, which means I've changed a bit of it. So I've decided to go on a camping holiday in the great outdoors. Missed out a bit of the repetition. You could have written it all, it doesn't matter. And what does Donkey say in response? What a good idea. While you're away, I'll read my book. So he's a bit more polite here doesn't talk about peace and quiet because again I just wanted to keep it quite short so that's what I want you to do with all the remaining slides so let's have a look at each one I'm going to read it through you have a go at identifying what speech needs to go in and then write down the speech either on the sheet that if you print it or on a whiteboard or have a go at drawing a picture and showing the two characters speaking so here's the next one I'm just going to race through this one, identify all the speech, and then we're going to move on to the next one. So, Donkey said, go to this a while later. Where do you think I should go on my camping holiday? Goodness, said Donkey, haven't you decided yet? Not really, said Goat. I want to go somewhere very special, but I don't know where. Will you help me? Well, said Donkey, perhaps you should decide what sort of place you'd like to go first. For instance, would you like to go a hot place or a cold place? Goat did not want it to be too hot. He did not want it to be too cold. Somewhere in between, he said. OK, so there's lots and lots of speech there. I'm just going to pause the video. Then I'm going to highlight it. Now, grown-ups, there's no need for you to write out all of this. This because this page we're not going to do. OK, so that's all the speech I identified. Now, hopefully you've been able to point some of that out to your grown-up. OK, so now it's over to you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read each page and then I'm going to put and then I'm going to pause the video and you have a go at doing the speech and then move on to the next page. So grown ups, it's over to you now. I'm sure you can do brilliantly to get the children and I can't wait. And if you can send in any pictures that you do, that would be fabulous. And do you want to get wet or do you want to stay dry? Asked Donkey. Goat liked being wet sometimes and sometimes he liked being dry. A bit of both, please, he said. So start the video again when you're ready. And how about somewhere high up or somewhere low down, asked Donkey. High up may go feel giddy and low down could be scary and underground. Flat in the middle would be grand, he decided. I see, said Donkey. And do you want a quiet, peaceful holiday, or an exciting, noisy one? Goodness, said Donkey, I give up. There's lots more to the great outdoors than I realised. I will think about it and let you know. So that's the end of today's work. I bet you'll do brilliantly, and I can't wait to work with you again tomorrow.